Hello, my name is Grant Kramer, and I am a professor at the University of Nevada, Reno. Today, we will have a short video on winery sanitation. The keys to making good wine are sanitation, high quality fruit, and patience. Patience because wine develops over time and you can't judge wine in its infancy. It improves with age, but of course at some point it's going to go past its prime and start to decline. So sanitation is key. It is the most important thing you can do that impacts your wine quality. So rule number one in the winery is no chlorine, no bleach. Do not use those compounds because the TCA can be formed from the chlorine in your winery. Yes, it is a well-known compound called trichloroanisole. It is the component that causes cork taint in your, on your corks as a result of chlorinated pesticides that were used on the cork trees. But we now know that if there are chlorinated compounds in your winery, in combination with mold in your winery, that TCA can be formed and contaminate your wine. TCA at extremely low concentrations can be smelled by humans and is considered a off odor. The mechanism of action actually is not by actually smelling an odor, but it inhibits your ability to smell other compounds like the fruit flavors in your wine. And we get the sense of mold when we smell it. So it doesn't smell good. So first, a few definitions for winery cleaning and sanitation. Cleaning is the physical and chemical act of removing dirt and debris from the surface. Sanitation is the inactivation or killing of 99.9% .9 of all microbes. The difference between that and sterilization is that sterilization is the complete killing or removal of all microbes. Okay, what are some common non-chlorinated cleaning agents? First, we have caustic agents such as dilute sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. We have alkaline agents such as PBW or powdered brewery wash, which was originally developed by Coors Beer Company. We have TSP, which is trisodium phosphate. We have Bebrite, which is sodium percarbonate and sodium carbonate. And we have acid cleaners such as dilute nitric or phosphoric acid or citric acid. What are some common non-chlorinated sanitizers? First of all, hot water or steam cleaning. You can make up a 10% potassium metabisulfite solution, which acts very well in sterilizing, but in long-term use can damage your stainless steel equipment. You can use star sand. This is a wonderful product that's used widely in the beer or brewing uh, industry. Uh, and this is a sanitizer you can put on your or in your containers or equipment and you do not have to rinse it off. It will not contaminate or alter the flavoring of your wine or beer that is in the container. And for the larger companies, ozone and UV light are also used as a means of sanitizing their equipment or the winery. So let's talk a, briefly about a five-step cleaning and sanitizing protocol. The first thing you want to do, whatever it is that you're cleaning, is to rinse it with water to remove the physical debris that might be on the surface. Then you want to use a cleaning solution and brush it or soak it for a period of time to remove the dirt off of those pieces of equipment. Then you want to rinse that solution off so that we now have a clean surface. And then you want to use a sanitizing agent or method to sanitize that piece of equipment. And then finally, you want to rinse it again. The number, the fifth step is to rinse. Now, in the case of Starsan, you may not need to remove the sanitizer 
uh, and you may wish it to remain. But if you are removing the sanitizer in my own practice, I rinse six times as I learned from my microbiology teacher that if you rinse something, you're effectively diluting it by half. And if you do that six times, you will remove 98.5% of the residual material or sanitizer on that container, which is effectively nothing. That might be a little bit, bit too much for you, but that's what I like to do. You don't have to fill the entire container up with water to rinse it. You just need to rinse the surface of it. And finally, what do we clean? Well, obviously, we would clean the floors and the countertops in the winery, but something that is often overlooked are drains. Drains and the bungholes of barrels are the most common sources of microbial contamination in a winery because those mold and bacteria hang out in that area. So that is something you clearly want to be sure to clean in your winery. Obviously your tanks and your barrels need to be clean, but don't forget the valves and the gaskets as well as bacteria or mold or fungi will hang out in those areas as well. Make sure they get dried off as well. And then your hoses, of course. I'm sure there are other things you can think of that you need to clean, but clean, clean, clean. Sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. The surest thing to destroy a wine is to get contamination. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on winery sanitation. Have a great day.